All right, let's continue our let's play. And welcome to, I think, chapter one? Chapter two? Uh, some chapter. We just completed our tutorial, so I'd say chapter one. But you never know. Year 1002 since Divine Retribution. Burkana, the kingdom of Odala, city of Albius. The Spring Equinox. Eighth year of peace since the last war. A retired captain of the guard and his daughter are strolling through the festival market. This was most bizarre. A woman in strange clothing is walking away from the town hall. Her beauty should be turning heads, but I seem to be the only one noticing her. Uh -oh. Linda, are you daydreaming again? You nudge your daughter as you see Baron Trobel, the Baras Borgeron master of the town, uh, approach you. Good day, Thorn. How have you been, Glenda? I take it that there is a reason you have been combining the market since dawn? Oh, combing the market since dawn? Looking for a gift for Leaky? 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 Good day, Thorn. How are you, Glenda? Yes, sir. Uh, yes. How do you know? Uh, Pass you on the shoulder. Albus isn't the biggest uh, town around. There ain't too many captains of the guard, royal guard here, and even fewer captains' wives. And one of these wives celebrating her birthday of this day is the spring equinox. Please give her my birthday wishes. Hey. I will, Burgenmaster. Though you are most welcome to stop by and do it in person. Uh, trouble. Uh, the Burgomaster is, uh, uh, eager to carry on, but one of the citizens calls his name. Trouble nods to you and tends to his business. Looking at the retreating Bur uh, Burgomaster, a stubborn old man, he seems resilient. Huh. I've heard he is a distant relative to the king himself. The distance of his re their relations may be a secret of his longevity. Well, we got carried away and are no closer than picking a gift for Leaky. And uh, are we going to get? Uh, what are we going to give her? Will you give me a hint? What would your mother like? The dialogue window. This icon means that your choices will have far-reaching consequences. Okay. Uh, we could give her jewelry. We could give her clothing. Uh, let's give her jewelry. Yeah. We should uh, head to Rusty's uh, shop by the town hall. Uh, we will need clothing uh, when we can visit the cloth merchant. Okay. Uh, so where is the... Let's see here. Prager is one of the earliest trade in textiles and clothing. Your old friend must see his trade in jewelry and antiques. And then Glinda wants, uh, looks like she wants to say something, but she is too shy. Perhaps you should ask her about it. Uh, let's go ahead and start with the jewelry. <coughs> Speaking to herself. The dead find out where I really do go uh, during my lunchtime strolls. There's nothing criminal in it, but I'd rather nobody knew of my manuscript hunting. I said that I would. Uh, I went to the pastry shop, and which wasn't exactly true. I just hope Ruska doesn't give her uh, give me away. <sighs> Venda, this is Rusk, an old friend and expert of all kinds of curiosities. We've known each other since Oda. Oh, Rusk, it's been a while. 
It's been three years, my dear Thorn. Uh, we've run into each other now and then. But ever since you arrived in town, freshly retired and brought a silver necklace with a garnet, you've forgotten all about my shop. Are you here to pick up a new gift for Leaky? <sighs> it's been three years, my dear Thorn. We've run into each other now and then. Uh, what makes you think that I'm looking for something? Yes, right. Will you help me pick something nice? Mm. I remember the last time you brought a birthday gift present, a birthday present for her, during the spring equinox. I won't lie, uh, I'd be, I'd have been happy if you had brought jewelry uh, from me every year since. <sighs> My wife hasn't been interested in jewelry in the past few years. However, the garnet necklace is her favorite. She has a feeling better in recent months. Uh, is it true that garnets uh, aid in weak hearts? Mm. I'm not mistaken, garnets possess no magical properties, but some other stones do. Potions cannot heal an aching heart, but family love can preserve it. Though I have heard that there are particular skillful, skilled healers in Nursa, or is her name, uh, but she's, cannot be, you know, she cannot perform miracles. Lady Hira from Ursa? Yes, I've heard rumors. We have been to Ursa and visited the Minther there, but uh, it was all for naught. The healer was not at home at the time, and they say she was, uh, she and her daughter could be wandering elsewhere for years. We can't exactly camp at her doorstep, can we? Huh. Did uh, Minther's, uh, Minther help you? This is a strange voice. My wife and I have visited all of the Minhurs in the kingdom and in the neighboring ones as well. We talked to the holy Ma fathers of the Temple of the Divine Retribution. Iki's uh, sick heart is not a simple disease. It is an inborn defect, uh, aggravated by the difficulty delivering her second child. Mills cannot heal her defects, which uh, they cannot regrow with severed hands. Before we mentioned uh, him, her, him, hers, we have been discussing other stones. Huh. I don't often, uh, I don't offer anything to anyone without a particular reason. Nevertheless, I have had per premonitions these the past days, providing uh, pro pro providence must have brought you to my shop today. You are looking for a gift, and I wanted you and your family to survive the troubling times to come. Call me superstitious, or even crazy, if you like. I hope that I'm mistaken, but unfortunately, my premonitions almost always come true, and you, Thorin, will benefit from this Strix. Strix. It is very expensive, but you can pay in installments over several years. Hmm. Let's reach into a box and place a highly polished stone on the counter. Metal uh, setting is very unusual. It looks like an insect uh, curling in stone tightly in its legs. Hmm. If this large six reduces the size, a platinum base will squeeze its paw to hold it tighter. Consider it a magic if you like. Hmm. If this is... Uh, tell me how the amulet works. <laughs> I will tell you what the ancient te texts say about Strix. As common woes come, death walks along humans and siphons, uh, their, siphons their blood life. Hmm. The death finds sticks sweeter than human life and drains it first, until the Strix has been completely sucked dry. Its wither has a chance to survive. It gives hope. <sighs> you can buy hope then, so what's the price? Such rare items do not come cheap. The price of the stone is 100,000 gold coins. Even if I will let you pay installment for 10 years, I still can't afford this. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you only knew how quickly uh, decades go by, I mean, at my age, you can't think in decades. In our case, every hour counts. Relax, Glenda. Do you have any, uh, any gift ideas? Hmm. Hmm. She gives hope, though. 
It's a lot of money to be in debt to. Man. I would consider the sticks. Listen to something here. Here's what we'll do. Take the stone, no deposit, no acknowledgement of debt, and I'll take your word, Thorn. For if you lie, I will lose faith in kind people. If you or your family find no use for it in the next year, you'll return it. Agreed? <laughs> it would be foolish to decline such a generous offer, as sticks it is. Even if I have to return it in a year's time, you have behaving oddly today, Rusk. Take the sticks from the table and hide it under your shirt. When you look up, Rusk is staring at you and seeing his face pale. At first you are confused, and then you too hear the bell ringing in the town hall. This doesn't sound like our bell ringer. Could it be that Tobla has finally sacked the bell ringer and hired someone sober? And you, Rusk, doesn't have a bell annoy you ringing your four times a day? You watch in surprise as Rusk takes a big sack and starts emptying the contents of numerous drawers, big and small, into it. Growing pale, just a matter of habit, my dear Thorn. Time uh, gets to you much stranger things. Hurriedly, you do not recognize how wisely you have chosen your gift. Silver comes in handy, of course, but sticks are most certainly aid you. And if it does, how many years will it be to pay for it? Five? Ten? <laughs> the bell keeps tolling. Russ sings a slack over his shoulder and takes an axe with a curved handle from the wall. <laughs> it no longer matters. I hope we'll meet again. But now I should flee from the city if I were you. The Alpercum for Fortress is the safest place to go. The merchant retreats into his shop. You hear the door open and close. Turn to Glinda. Glinda, it looks like Rusk has lost his mind. Should we leave? We're under attack. Yep. Called it. Mm. Yep. There he is. That's a bad guy. You see Baron Tobel lying on the ground, dying, blood gushing from his mouth, nose, ears, and eyes. To no one in particular, you are tough. You struggle to stay on your feet, blood is gushing from your nose, Glenda stares to death, is hiding behind your back. But rather, ten test her. Who are you? Cocking his head, you need, uh, no need for you to know. You use the last reserves of your energy to stay upright. Your heart is about to leap out of your chest. Your throat contracts. Studying your face, dying already. I beg you to leave my daughter alone. Straightening his backs, I don't need either of you. Yet. Towering over you, the monstrous monster examines you beneath it for a few seconds and extends his arms and points at your pendant. The monster grabs your cabinet's insignia and clenches it into his fist. With the hissing sound, the sticks in his pendant shrinks. No! The reaper then starts with your family, Thornboro. The monster vanishes into thin air. You shake your head, trying to clear it. Oh, blessed gods. Did you hear what it had said about our family? Quick, we've got to get home. Did it save our life or hope? It took hope. Holy crap. Wow. It stole hope from us. You run headlong to your house, taking every possible shortcut. Even a small house like Jones has its dark corners. But you should not, uh, but you could care less. Right now, you need to make sure that everything is all right at home. Glenda, this outcry makes you stop in your tracks. Your daughter hastily pulls some kind of colored flak from under her belt. 
that's what's almost burnt my tummy. Russ uh, gave up uh, to me about a week ago. A long time they were supposed to make magical battle cards. Suddenly, they became so hot to the touch. Then the outcries makes you stop in your tracks. Your daughter hastily pulls some kind of colored plaque from under her belt. Uh, that's what's almost burnt my tummy. Russ gives me. Okay, uh, take a look at the cards. Okay. The magical plaques almost burn your fingers and they almost fit perfectly in your palm. You feel almost as if you were waving your hands and channeling magic into thy any enemy. Uh, could they regain their powers because of the reaping? How did Rusk come by them? Uh, you remember seeing this plaque sold as curiosities and souvenirs. You hear footsteps coming towards you and something ahead. Three thugs are barring their way. Their puffy faces are contorted with mindless rage. Did highwaymen get so uh, raised as to attack Townspoke, hoping for an uh, easy gain? Swift movement, you draw your sword, but the thug looks unimpressed. You look closer and notice their vacant eyes, foaming foam at their mouths. Your opponents are either very drunk or crazy. You step in front of Glinda. I'll beat some sense into them. Stay back. In response, Glenda steps aside and draws her own blade. Did I practice with a sword for all those years uh, to keep hiding from, be hiding behind you? Together, we'll deal with them faster. Uh, well, your daughter is really asking is some some stern parenting, but the thugs attack you with feral roar. Uh, you can only hope your daughter has taken your lessons to heart. All right. You have more than one character in your party. You can choose the uh, turn order. Just like to any character standing in the highlights. Okay. Oh, and we also have cards. Click on the icons in the bottom left hand, and they will become available. Each card is used uh, only once per battle. After you use a card, it won't be available again until the next battle. Red skulls indicate that a character's portrait has been wounded, and the character is uh, sustained. Character stats are lower depending on the number of wounds. If a character sustains four wounds, they die. Keep an eye on the useful, uh, 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 useful button. You can found throughout the game. Click on it to read descriptions of various game mechanics. All right, so here we go. We have our characters right here. So this is the turn order, right? Uh, battle cards are right here. Uh, here's your character. Here's the skills. Uh, okay. So just select our character. So you're positioning, so we can position him. Oh, position her. No. I think this is good. Uh, let's put it, that's, that's the number set. And then and that's the icon, so then we can battle. Uh, you can enable auto battle or bottle. Okay, so and then you can position them where you want them. So I'm going to do this. There we go. And then fight. And then start the battle. Start the battle. There we go. <laughs> okay, she's going to go first. Nice. Shield black. Okay. Nice. Okay, so we learned the auto. Then it looks at the bloody bodies in terror. This is the first time she has fought to the death. You grab her shoulder, shaking her a couple times before she looks away from the corpse. She finally steals herself, meeting her at gaze and uh, odds with a great determination. I'm proud of your daughter, but even more so worried for your wife, uh, uh, Lakey. There's no time to lose. You need to get home as soon as possible. A couple of side alleys later, you open her familiar gates. Cool. Oh. 
Oh, well, <laughs> that's not so difficult. You run into the house and find the living room covered in blood. Old Tenure, your housekeeper, stands at the door, trembling all over. Her daughter, Quinda, your maid, lies motionless on the floor. Just beside her is your wife. You run into the house and find the lens. How did this happen? <laughs> mommy, oh mommy, what happened to you? Uh, you for her and you get down your knee and touch your wife's body. Her lifeless hands are still warm. Linda sobs nearby. Everything goes going dark. Mommy, get up. We fought... We brought you a present. Stop pretending. Uh, ringing of the bell fills your, uh, the air around you. It's so loud. You hear it about to burst. You get up and you can barely make it out what Tanir is saying. <laughs> such a calamity has befallen us. Oh, such grief. First both Leaky and Mara scream in pain. Then my daughter seems to have lost their mind. Uh, she went to at her mistress Leaky with a knife. Mistress defended herself, but then... Such a crime in the has before us. Glenda, give me a hand. Taking the blanket from the bed and covering uh, uh, Quinna's body. No longer sobbing, I will in a moment. Oh, such horror. His Excellency Count uh, Vajrachi and his young son Bran always said that it would end this way. Mm. Oh, the horror, the horror. Oh, oh, Leaky, this shouldn't have happened. Huh. Daddy, I need you. We must act. Tinder, saddle the horse while I get packed. <laughs> yes, I'll do it. You move to stand uh, with your wife's hair and notice something odd. A blue-black mark like an ulcer on the nap of her neck and surrounding the skin is swollen, as if burnt. Linda also notices it and backs away, a look of terror in her suddenly pale face. Hmm. This is right out of the ancient manuscript. The same thing happened 700 years ago. A pain pierces your neck and grows into a fiery noose. It strangles you and you die in terrible agony. This infection is what they call the reaping. Daddy, the back of my neck is burning. Uh -oh. Let me see. Damn it. You have the same mark. Have you looked? Do I have it? Nothing. But now, how can that be? Why did the plague spare me? I don't believe in luck. There must be some kind of protection. What was it? I hope Rusk was right. Come here, Glinda. I want you to wear this. Take Mona's mouth out of the bag and put it around your daughter's neck. She nods and you pull her into her embrace again. Is it too late, though? Is it too late? You exit into the front yard and take a look around. No, you shouldn't bury uh, Leaky here. It'd be better to do it uh, in the back. Linda follows you, taking Tinder and her bodies there. You tell her, try to be quick. Our time is short. Just wrap them in something, all right? Uh, when you are done digging, your hands are shaking, but not with tiredness. Uh, Tender buries his face in his hand. Glenda is in a shadow of her former self. You realize that if you stop and stand still, pain will drown you. You get out of a fleshy dug, flush, freshly dug grave and pick up Leaky's body. You lay out Ona's body beside her mistress. They used to play together as kids. You take up a shovel. Glenda is still petrified. And there mumbles one of the temple's anthems. You wonder what he is asking the gods to do for his daughter. Are his woes all the same to her now? You throw the last handful of dirt into the grave and toss the shovel aside. You feel as if you are in the edge of a cliff. Your wife is no more. Her body is not in your warm embrace, but in the cold clutches of death. For some reason, you're still alive. Glenda walks up and hugs you, pulling you back to the, uh, pulling you back from the precipice, just like when you met the Reaper. 
just talk to uh Uh, Glinda's uh, packing for the journey. Glinda loads up her horse and weeping on her back. Oh, mommy, dear, how are we going to live with on live without you? She whispers. Put an arm around your daughter as she presses her tear-stricken face to to her chest. It's over for Leaky, my dear, but for you and Mac, it's not. Remember this. However much it hurts, Glinda stops and tries to steal herself. No longer crying, she starts uh, strapping the sa uh, saddlebags. It's not over for either of it, uh, for you either, Daddy. No matter what you think, I am almost ready. I need to strap this package to Rascal Scrolls. Maybe I'll have a chance to return them. Uh, help Linda fasten the package. And bears are facing your shirt. Thank you. Mommy is dead, and we have to run from the Reapers. I'm still fussing about this package. Enter the house and see that Tanner is packing your things, but is not in a rush to leave. What's keeping you, Tanner? Tanner makes a helpless gesture. Forgive me, Master Brian, but I am not coming. I must remain by my daughter's side. I will look after the house uh, for as long as I live. Tell him that he's an excellent servant. Tanner's expression softens. You've been a model husband for Le Mistress Leaky, but no matter uh, uh, what her father, Count Versus, has said. <sighs> That's kind of dark. Let's leave. <laughs> it's Captain, Captain Krager. He's got the Frisk guard in the northern gate. As well as four lads from his regiment with him. What do we do? Let him in before he destroys the gate. Uh, Glenda, shut the stable doors for now, just in case. Shouting to his companions, damnation, quick, bring on the horses. Thorn, is your servant, old servant, completely deaf? I bashed my knuckles raw, knocking on your bloody gate. Don't you know what's going on in town? Hmm. Huh. Enraged. Pipe down. I do know. Tenure has just lost his daughter, understood? I've just lost my wife. Curse this damn town. Ah. Turning to his face, like he? No fucking way. I'm sorry, pal. R really sorry. Uh, damn me if I hurt your feelings or something. <sighs> You'll die like a dog if you don't worry about it. We all will at this rate. What happened to you? <clears throat> When the monsters in our town, everyone went berserk. Have you seen the sign that left the, the gate? What do we do now? I wanted to ask the burgomaster, but he didn't. But I didn't think he, I could make it through, though. Besides, I had, so I had the boys with me. He turned his face to the rest. Hey there, you pansies, come here. You're all right. Look, uh, looks like you didn't even shit your pants. Take care of these horses while we figure something out. Okay, let's see what's going on. Shed. One of the soldiers leaning against the shed, his legs uh, seem unable to support him. And the soldier on his regiments are tending to the horses. Let's go ahead and go with uh, stable. Hey, stop. Quit trailing horde uh, like a puppy. Uh, go tighten the straps on the horse. Mm. Oh, you remember me. Uh, this is Nanny. Uh, get this, Nanny, away from me. At this rate, he'll soon be holding my member while I'm taking a leak. Let him look after Glinda, why not? Take him back. But Horde, ain't we buddies? Uh, Hode. Uh, but Hode! Uh, aren't we buddies? Don't you see what's happening in Albus? Don't drag Glinda into this. I worry about you. Uh, go on right out of here. I need you. Uh, I need you like I need the hole in my head. If you want to look after me, do it from a far away. <sighs> Looking at Horde as he storms away. That's the uh, distress. That's what distress does to men. You look as stiff as a dick in the bathhouse. <laughs> uh, stop. Uh, don't worry. He'll cool off, and you'll be the best buddies again. Thorn. What else did you want to ask the lad? Huh. 
Why the sour look? <laughs> Should I sing and dance? There's no, uh, 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 this is no fort. We must move to Ursa. Its walls are higher, and the German army is nearby. The king himself is there. And more food. <laughs> oh, you care about stuffing your face. The entire Dresden's army uh, loses its marbles like the Abra's guards. Uh, Ursa will uh, be good for nothing. <laughs> well, I mean, the menace ain't affected us, so there's got to be someone sane in Ursa. Let them deal with the craziness. Well, I mean, the menace ain't affecting us, so... Why are you staring at the gate? <laughs> well, I mean, it's really nice, sturdy gate. We could just stay here and wait for the mess to clear up. Uh, let's not forge shit creek. Mm. We're already knee high in it. Stop. Uh, you do... Uh, what? Who do you think this gate's going to stop? The monster? Or maybe the plague? What's next? Crawling under a blanket? Will it help? I want to do the right thing, but those madmen to come to their senses. Uh, then it's all hokey dory. Hokey dory. <sighs> Alright, enough talk. <sighs> Look, stop rambling. Usually he's too busy chewing. Uh, he probably thought we were hiding in the tavern. <laughs> if you could hide from this nastiness in the tavern, I would be there already. Gregor, do something. We didn't join Thorne's company by accident, did we? I mean, no disrespect, disrespect Captain. Hmm. Disrespect uh, my decision, then? First, we need to get out of town and ride to the nearest Menhor. Men Mithir? Mithir. Uh, to get rid of the plague, and we need. Uh, we'll see where we go from there. Quality increased. Shed. Brent, uh, lounging about? Just coming to my senses, think, uh, thinking what to do. <laughs> what can you do against the Reaper? <laughs> Came after me, we'll see. I know wh uh, where I'm hiding and if it finds me again. <laughs> Came after us all, Knucklehead. Do you think you're special or something? If God's forbid it... Uh, it comes back, it'll be for all of our heads. Thorne, we need to leave now. <laughs> we can't run or hide, and death is in the air. Listen to me, boy. Don't ever let your fear wag your tongue for you. Curb it. If you want to die, do it. Just don't drag others into it. Okay. Everyone should gather at the gate and figure out a plan. So we increased one, guys, and forgot the other ones. Forget that turbo chair. The... Burgo, a burgomaster is dead. <sighs> We're selling up Ship Creek. What are we? Uh, what are we? What? What do we do now? <sighs> we should uh, wash the shit stains and run. Check the backs of everyone's necks. The plague leaves a distinct mark. <sighs> Free that one uh, out already. None of us, my lads, have a mark. I personally checked. The townsfolk have been clutching their necks in pain, though. God spared us from this plight. Uh, without them, we'd be squirming on the ground. We should be grateful. <sighs> you invoke the gods, but they have nothing to do with it. Confound them. Will we got Strix to help us, or do we have flicks? <sighs> what do you mean? I have a spear and my armor, so I admit that I ain't the best. <sighs> what do you mean, I have a spear? I wonder whether you're drunk or just stupid. Perhaps I'm not making myself clear. A bit slow on the uptake, ain't you? I'm saying it again, slowly. Strix protects you from the plague. Gregor and I am the captain of the Signia with Strix. These lads have earrings with flecks on their stones. Where is your sticks? <laughs> Showing you a piece of jewelry you've got from a small one. Uh, you've got a small one and a pin used by my mother. Kept it from Arthur Mesere, but I don't wear it. So she protects you even after death. Pray that to your dead mother, for, uh, Frisk, rather than to the gods. Say something about going berserk, Kraken. 
Well, you see, my monster just clen uh, clenched a sign to the gate and vanished. And the bell started ringing and all it went terror for to uh, topsy-turvy. The people got to their feet and began to beat the living daylights out of each other. Other squirrel dads, uh, some squirrel daddy, squirrel diddy, scrick daddy, diddle. I don't know what that word is. I've never seen that. Skitterdill? Skitterdill? Others took up arms. Some folks just used bare hands. Your fist ran for it, but we didn't go. Uh, but it didn't go well. And the guys we knew were lunging at us were like fierce beasts. We wanted to avoid killing them, of course. Uh, but the way things were, we fought our way to the stables and found these lads. Ah, I see. It's starting to make sense now. The plague leaves marks, which makes you go berserk, and it doesn't always work. Perhaps some possession of inner strength to resist. Maybe Strix has just gotten something to Sweet! I paid a billion dollars, but that's okay. I'm, I'm not crazy. <laughs> the mark's not a uh, death sentence, then. If you resist it, things are looking up, boys. Something to drink to. Uh, what's the sign on the gate? How should I know? I was standing guard on the northern gates with fresh many of the gods punished him with uh, sobri sobriety. Suddenly a monster appeared. <laughs> I heard this creature, Temple Records, refer to them as reapers, but they come during the reaping. They don't always look like monsters. Sometimes they appear almost human. They call themselves the Umbra, which means shadow in Latin. But there's only a passing mention of them in the Chronicles. <sighs> and the foggiest guy of what that was, frankly. And I don't give a crap. I just know that uh, what I saw, it was no scary thing, uh, scary. You'd shit your pants. Many did, in fact. All of them fell to the ground, at least, and the monster drew some kind of mark on the gate and let out a screech. Hmm. The reaper said that the gate was sealed and that everyone w should prepare to die. It said so in the temple tongue, and then in Frinkskin. <laughs> Will you shut up, uh, wise, uh, wise arse? Uh, you've been going on and on. What are you planning to do to talk to your foes to death in the battlefield, you snotty brat. <laughs> a voice quivering. Have I even... Have I even given someone a reason to call me a coward? <sighs> voice quivering. Here, let's go. Hmm. Hold your hold your horses, too, fellas. Please calm down. How will... How, how come you know so many languages? Still tense. Just had to learn them. Many archival records exist only in Friskin or the Temple Tongue. Uh, being knowledgeable is always useful. As for courage, uh, uh, you either have it or you don't. You don't know in, uh, it until you need it. True enough. <laughs> Damn, I almost forgot. The people uh, didn't go mad and... and Immediately after the monsters left a sign on the gate, first the merchants rode through the square at a flying gallop. It's a miracle they didn't trample anyone. He pulls a control lever, uh, uh, slid something between the leaves, opening them up, and went off. And uh, off he went, all by himself. And there I thought he was a good-for-nothing wuss. Surely you know him. Short beard, always smiling. Shop near the town hall. A good drinking buddy, if you ask me. Uh, yes. So he managed to get out of town, and the, and the gate still opened then. <sighs> no, the people were going to circle race. Some of the guards went after this Rusk fellow, by the way. The gate slammed shut, as nobody held it open. Hey. So it's possible to open the gate after all. Uh, gather everyone, Craig, and let's go. We need to get out of town. Tenure, should do... Uh, Sure, you want to. Sh you sure don't want to change your mind. <laughs> I'm too old to change my mind, Master. Many of the uh, may the gods grant you a smooth road. Farewell. Hmm. As you wish. Everyone, follow me, Gregor. Tenor, open the gate. Open the gate. Oh shit! A stop in the square near the ma uh, gate. Dismounting and peeking around the corner. Uh, the ground around the gate is littered with corpses. Besides them, guards shuffle around, scratching their necks and growling now and then. They have weapons at the ready. 
and Cress, a uh, ringing of the bell makes you squirm as you examine the gate. There is some kind of growing mark on it. The, uh, the square is full of abandoned carts, baskets, and crates, uh, and corpses. There is no way you can ride through on horseback. Your company awaits for your decision. Turning to face the rest, do you realize what is going on? Why did the monsters seal the gate? These reapers are like children, very cruel children, pitting people against each other just to see what is going to happen, like playthings. Uh, that's what father said. Is your father a temple servant by any chance? A royal scribe, but he didn't want to be a scribe. He wanted to become a warrior. So I ran away from this. Uh, I wanted to become a warrior. So I ran away from the capital. Consider yourself, your fish, your wish, wish fulfilled. I'd hope it uh, had lost its glamour. It will soon in any case. Why are these madmen so organized? Could it be that they serve the Reaper now and they're bound by his will? Uh. Ancient manuscripts don't mention anything about that. However, they do say that each Reaper is different. The Reaper could be inventing something new. Rusk has mentioned something like this before. Uh. However, they do say that Reapers, uh, Reap, oh, okay. You discuss the Reapers with Rusk? <laughs> Sometimes. You don't know history if you don't know the reapings. You if they direct its course, even if they only happen twice. Who knew that it would come back? In the absence of another explanation, I have to go with this one. Shall we try to break through? What do you mean, break through? Are you out of your freaking mind, Thorn? I know those guys, every single one of them. See the redhead? You know him, too. He is but a young lad when he came across me, 15 years old. He wanted to become a guard, and he did. Uh, you suggest we haul our horses over the walls instead? I know all those guys, too. See the woman lying there near the barn? That's his mother. And who do you think hacked her down? They are not the people we knew, Craig. <sighs> well, I'm not quite myself uh, when I'm drunk, either. Should I be killed, then? How do you know this can't be reversed? Do what you will, Captain, but I don't lead an attack on my own men. Can you see the dead bodies under the feet? Those are our lads, too. Oh, screw you. I'll give the order. Firmly. Can you see the dead? Yes. You can't attack their ranks directly, so we'll have to split up. Some of you who come will fight, uh, will join the fight, but others will have to get around, fight, and reach the gate. Why should we split? It's much better to stay together. Yeah, I agree. If those crazies get reinforcements when we're busy fighting, I don't care about winning, I just want to get out of this alive. How do we open the gates? It is sealed by the sign. If Russ managed to open it, then we can, uh, so can we. On your guard, you there, follow me, the rest to the gate. Alright. So we have to choose our allies carefully. Let's see here. Reduce the attack by five and increases. Cure is very nice. Touch of chaos. Increases defense by ten. Reduces health by ten. Okay, so we have allies here. Let's see your health. Health. So we're going to have, uh, this is our first combat, so we're going to spread out our strengths and weaknesses. There we go. One, two, three, four. So we'll fight. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Let's fight! All right, let's do this. So that's why they're so organized, is the, the Reapers controlling them. It's interesting. All right, one, two, three, four, five. Right, looks like we have archers. Uh, 
as archers and spearmen. Probably use this to our advantage, yeah. yeah. Let's start the fight. What does he do? He is a defender, it looks like. Ouch. Spearman. Let's see what he has. Good defense. Beautiful strike. It's an interesting stance she has. Good spear. Alright. She's definitely an attacker. Let's go and attack energy. Beautiful. Nicely done. The fight is over, you notice more guards and their weapons drawn are nearby are. You run to the gate. Why isn't it open yet? You want to go through this again. Very kicks the gate furiously. Shit, bloody rescue. Uh, did it somehow. Think quick. What should we use? The Glenda Center remembers. Run and wipe something along the sleeves, uh, behind the, sl the leaves. Do you recall what he said? Silver should come in handy. We have Mom's necklace in one of our bags. We pull out a piece of silver jewelry out of the bags and toss it to Gregor. He shrugs and slides it along the slit. The Reaper's mark fades away, and the gate cracks open. Gregor laughs hysterically. I'll, I'll, I'll be damned. Silver, silver works. Now pull the lever now. You and your company rush into the open. As soon as you close the gate behind it, the Reaper signs. Invisible to you, though, uh, uh, from the outside, we seal them from the hissing sounds. Soon enough, fists pound on from in the girl. The bell toll, bell still tolls over Alice. You look at your company. I just, uh, I must save my daughter, and you must, and you, since you've joined me, at least those who you wish to carry on, will try to make our way to the nearest Nymphro. It might help us. Let's go. Okay. Interesting. Look at the road uh, leading west. There are footprints and even dry blood uh, drops of blood on the dust. You include it looks like the rest of those pursuers went this way. Craig, uh, Craiger, do you think we could try and catch up with him? There's more to that old man than meets the, uh, the eye. Than the eye can see. In fact, I have a hunch that he knows much more about the reaping than anyone else. Gregor scratches his head. I can't believe that. I saw him open the sealed gates. He definitely knows something. Uh, we can still catch up with him, but this road doesn't take you straight into the men, men here. Resk's uh, got a head start, but his horse is no prize. We can go after him, but we'll lose an entire day if not more. Start having doubts. And if we and we may lose him, he's still got uh, through those netty guards on his tail. They've uh, could have finished him off already. I have to make a decision now. So... We 
We can go to the tower. Let's see what this says. It takes 20. It takes 50. Coal burners tracks stone bridge. So why would we head to stone bridge watchtower? We could go to the northern road for the coal strikes burner. That's to the watchtower. Either way, I think we should go... Either way, it's the same distance, it looks like. We can go either directly there, or we can go that way. Let's go north. Well, this is like some serious stuff, so... head to the watchtower burners tracks I mean he knows something right and we do owe him money but it's like a hundred you know it's a butt ton of money <laughs> hmm let's just follow him the tracks of Kansas Albus which I recently built near the abandoned coal burners village the coal burning business is moved but the name stuck a low stone bridge that uh, carries a wide, solid road over a rapid mountain river. Oh, now what's this? Once a well trodden and con uh, convincing, this road is abandoned while the bridge became dangerously deceptive. Deceptive. Uh, let's go with this one. Yeah, we'll go this way. The road curves from the distance you can already make out the watchtower. Residents of guards and toll collectors, a grisly scene of recent felonies is underfoot. A ransacked cart and murdered family. A husband hacked down, a wife raped and strangled, the baby crushed to the ground. A bloody trail leads to the watchtower. Unless this was to off his brow and sleeves. Damnation! Who could have done this? Uh, where did the bandits come from? The trouble has just started, and here they are curses. The thugs must have gone to the tower. They probably have their eyes on the toll collector's money. You raise your hand to many silences and take a closer look at the victims. We're only a few minutes late. The blood is still fresh. The bastards did this. Couldn't have reached the Rothschild yet. Still, pursue them and kill them. Dismount in your house before the fight. There's no getting new mouths. So we'll best spare the ones we've got. It's not long before you catch up to the murderers. They didn't expect to see armed band, uh, armed band, but react quickly and scurry towards the forest. You are not letting them go. Yeah, kill them! Kill them now! What's this? A golden earring is plus one energy. Okay, let's see here. Energy, no entries. Attack 20. He's an archer. Uh, let's take an archer, yep. And then he's a warrior. He's a warrior too. I like him because he's currently and he's got very Fight! Charge! Into battle! Let's kill them. Kill them all! Kill the thieves. first. You're up first. Alright, let's whack him. Let's parry or fight back. Mm. 
It's a good solid strike. Perfect, right here. Kill his ass. Just attack. No point in overdoing it. Taking our energy, which is fine. It's no big deal. Okay, who do we got here? See what we got here. Power strike and bloodletting, so we'll just let him be fine. Oh here, my next he's a spearman. Oh. Uh just in turn? I think it's in turn, right? No. Gotta be a lot closer. Rebound. Subterfuge. Speed up. up next spearman uh, actually we'll have him move up Oop, he'll move up what did you was he going to do anything else in turn yep that's what he does okay not too bad we definitely need to kill that archer. Uh, what can you do? Defense. Okay. Nice. All right, who we got here? Archer. Yeah, just kill him. Beautiful. Uh, let's go ahead and come right here. And then he's going to be... Retaliation. to the top of the round. Who's up next? Oh, well. Who's, whose turn is it? And then... <gasps> Solid hits. Retaliation? What happened? Just attack. Yeah. A solid blow. Okay, so you're gonna walk around. What's up next? Mm. Bloodletting. Beautiful. Nice. Okay, cool. Okay. When the fight is over, you glance over at the tower. It is not that far. The sound of battle has uh, must have carried well. 
Uh, let nobody comes rushing to your aid. In the other hand, uh, that uh, what you can guard, what you can guard or two uh, against a gang of thugs. Still wonder about that. You tell your companions to ride to the tower. You find the gate of the tower open and no one is on watch. Turn to Gregor, confused. Gregor looks around. That's what you're fucking calling guard duty? Where is everyone? Stern uh, should be on watch. No more reliable than him. And where's the troll toll guy? What in tarnations? Uh, what in tarnarium is going on here? Oh, for fuck's sake, Stern. Get your friend short. Stop yelling. We don't need to attract attention. Go see if anyone's seriously injured. He shakes his head. No big deal, just a scratch. You rush at him like a wild beast and everyone follows suit. After everything we've seen, I'll tear his filth to pieces with my bare hands. You agree. That's almost, uh, that's almost what happened. All filth that was uh, dominating, the, dominating in our land is now showing its ugly face, I'm sure. Well, let's have a look around. I don't like this place. Uh, search the outskirts first. Hot Philip, for this, you, uh, you've got some, uh, prep snooping around. Command. Check by the river. Uh, just be sneaky about it. If you don't find anyone near the tower, we'll ride on. Let me go with Hog, uh, Stom suggests. Who knows what kinds of crazies lurk around the corner. Our boys will need them, me to fend them off. Soldiers draw their weapons and circle the tower. You notice so it's stopped in front, obviously shielding hold. Did you see that, pal? You said, Kerr. So it's running around Hold like a little dog, and Hold just turned up his nose. Kind of a strange friendship. He laughs. Agreed. You know the nickname of Snopes got uh, in the squadron? Claude Hopper. He's a kind guy, very obedient and hardworking. But as soon as Hod is hot on the horizon, Trouble is a brain. Shake your head. Youngins. Always have to keep an eye on them until all the fighting toughens them up. Let's go take a look at the tower. Unless you're with us. Samuel Tower. There's blood on the rocks and the gate's broken. From the inside, it seems someone that was killed here, Gregor. Someone you say? I think it's obvious. It was either a toll collector, a second watchman, or Stern. I forgot that they dispatched uh, that I dispatched here. But there's. Uh, but where are the bodies? Screw that, Thorn. Let's just go. <laughs> wise words, captains. W wise words, captains. What are we standing around for? Waiting for those madmen to storm out of the city. But uh, where should we run off to? <laughs> no, we must first get back to the bottom of this. I don't want to get into even more shit. We're knee deep in it as it is. What do you think, Gregor? Where, where to? <sighs> well, we're trying to say definitely not a bad idea. We barely got away with our lives. I think we need to look for the sacred stones. It's not that far, especially on horseback. <coughs> you think that you were smart the moment people realized we are going on? They'll all rush into Mithril. Let's ride into the stone further away, shall we? Not many people there, just a small blockade. All the nearest stone you have. Too many pilgrims from the neighboring villages and towns. Hey. It's too risky. Who knows how long the, our strict are going to last. Uh, what if we only got a day left or something? Let's get to the nearest Minthrum by the village near Dayrum. What do you think, Frisk? Maybe it isn't the reaping at all. Uh, we need to hide. Almost always works for me, at least. Uh, just like you hide your ass during one of those benders, huh? How did you get to? Uh, you're a fucking idiot, Frisk. If it's the reaping, you can't hide. Doubly true. If it isn't, don't worry. We'll easily find. They'll easily find us. Why would they be looking for us? Not like we've done anything wrong. Killed a couple of city folk, but it's just like self-defense. 
Yeah, try telling uh, that to the city officials. I'd rather control my own fate. Thank you very much. I don't want to crawl into that hole and get burned into a crust like some kind of pest. Enough talk. Besides, they've already found someone. Here, they come. Well, at least Sergeant Stern is still alive. Let's ask him. Found the watchman's leader. Let's hear what he has to say. Mm. Buckling spoke with shaking his hand. It was a. Uh, uh, is this an inspection, Kruger? What's going on? It's been. I've. It's been a waste day and a. For a half a day now. It's. Now there's a crowd. Why don't you stay in the tavern? <laughs> Are you still lively, Chief? Uh, <laughs> Stern breaks into a grin and shuts one wing on the gate, scorched in front of half of the same mark uh, you saw on Albus's gate. <sighs> Drawing his sword. Stop. Don't touch the second one. Do you want uh, Do you want to kill us, you son of a bitch? You awaken the curse if you do. <sighs> Stern's right. Don't touch the gate. Hmm. Frustrating us. Hey, did you shit your pants? There's something else to fear. We were, uh, we were already cursed. It's the ice that I put on my neck. It helps me endure the abominating mark. Want some? <sighs> Spring of some of the bl uh, blessed things. Town's gone crazy. The guards are killing each other. We've got to get uh, out of the shit now. We. Yeah, but... So it's like this everywhere. Then it's all matches. No, nobody escapes it. However, I did not abandon my post. Tell us what happened at your post. This mark didn't draw itself. I don't fiddle with symbols like a uh, temple of sissy. All I know is that it, I saw a scary creature. Me and the toll collector both collapsed. Where we stood, Ramos was upstairs and I heard him fall too. Luckily, uh, he didn't fall out the window. This fiend's got the gate and drew some kind of mark as if he was burying it in it. And Nick felt like it was on fire. He bared his gray teeth and told us uh, we were all done for. Well, as for the, for the words, uh, maybe I'm just seeing things. <sighs> Has he been training here or something? Shit. You're lucky they're still in one piece, Stern. How did you manage to break the seal? <clears throat> Piece of shit, Ramos was inside. He got so scared he tumbled out the stairs and knocked out the rotten gate with his stupid head. That's when he uh, felt the scorching heat. The toll collector went crazy right away. Lucky for Renlin, he attacked me first. His eyes were bulging and he was foaming at the mouth. <sighs> Didn't you hear us calling you? <laughs> I don't care who is calling. I was picking ice left uh, under the stones. If you don't believe me, hold a knife over the fire and press it to your neck. Then you'll see how it, you respond. Hmm. So we're picking ice on your watch? Don't you have anything else to do? <laughs> Want me to check non-existent carts? The only people I saw today were Rusk and the Merchant. With his weird accent aside, a dozen guards chasing after him. Not a single piece of luggage. <laughs> Where's the second watchman and the toll guy? About the toll guy. You see, there was an accident. He went berserk and attacked me, and I fought for life. His corpse is behind, and strange, isn't it? To live like a man and die like a beast? I'm just bolted. He must have gone to his home village, and I don't blame him. Far as I'm concerned, he's better off than the toll guy. I guess you're coming with us? Mm. I want to live the rest of my days in such a way that I don't feel shameful. I'm not in my post and that either should you. <sighs> so what are you accusing us of, Stern? I don't judge you, Thorn, especially considering you're retired. However, shouldn't Crater be on the charge of his soldiers and guards in Albus? And kill our own guards and townsfolk who have already killed each other? No, I'm not going to take part in this massacre. Uh. Gregor is the captain of the guard, Stern. 
But like Captain Coward, he sh should be sorted out with a mess of in the town. Uh, not running to safety. I'll manage it myself, Thorn. Thanks. And Craig will definitely send the rest of his days behind bars. <sighs> you can't just drop dead out here. You don't want to get into the main yard in two days and stay alive. Eat shit, then. Nothing to do here anymore. Thorn, let's go. Oh, well, okay. Oh, a young guard uh, returning to his village near Mount Let's see what's going on here. Now this village near Maymore's village. If Stern's right, the second guard must have run off here to his family. What say you, Crayer? What kind of person is Remmel? Mm. Not a bad guy, but it ain't worth a rat's puke as a guard. A fucking wimp, uh, what he is. All fancy shenanigans. Shancy. Fancy snancy. His only family is his grandma, a black one. You know the Vandals? Vandals? Yeah. You can tell she's raised him by herself, and the guy's got no uh, father figure. Hey. Would you take him with you, then? It was a pity, or did someone ask you to? Uh. Who gives a crap about him? But as I said, uh, he's only got his grandma. As for why I'm looking after him, and that's really boring to, on patrol, you know. Remsel's always all the fairy tales in the world, it seems. Every guard wants to be on duty with him, just to hear what he's got to say. That was too much peace does uh, to your guards. Whatever. Having someone from Remsel's village certainly wouldn't hurt. At least we've got something to spend the nights if it comes to that. Alright, let's go. Continue your journey. You ride a couple of leagues away from the tower. Craig calls over to you. I have a feeling that the sergeant's going to blame us for the murders of the toll collectors. Would it be safer to just kill him? You're about to tell us Craig off, but then you stop yourself. On the one hand, Stern isn't a bad person, despite his insufferable demeanor. On the other hand, you don't need guards chasing you. Forget about this suggestion. We're not going to kill him! You look at Kreger and shake your head. Sorry, pal. Killing someone accidentally or in self-defense is one thing. But killing an innocent just so that he doesn't get in the way is out of the question. The captain scratches his head. So you're probably right. I'm just getting, getting too jumpy from all the shit that we've been through. I'll soon be lashing out at people myself. Gotta get it. Gotta get it go. Gotta let it go before some other bullshit finds it in my head. Yeah, man. That's psychopath shit. Oh, yeah, it's just kill shit. Okay, so we can do the Miller's tracks or the dry riverbed. A roundabout way to avoid the dilapidated bridge. A narrow path through fields and barren land. A road follows a dry riverbed winding through rocky plains. I wouldn't take a riverbed. I would take the Miller's tracks. Yep. Not sure why you'd want to go that way. In the distance, you see a load of wagons pointed by six horses, judging by the bells and crates tied to its roof. It belongs to a wandering merchant, though the armed guards it is fit for a prince. Take a closer look and recognize some of a money changer from Elvis. Say hello. The trip to the wagon and meet Morris. He waves at you and smiling. You learn that he's decided to move to Ursa with his family and possessions. He'd move out before the bell rung, so you know but he knows nothing about him. Form the money of uh, the money sticks. Look at his merchandise. See what he's got. A leather purse and trade. We got 7,000 gold. Let's see, what's this? Paralyze. Popular thing, plus 7 energy. Plus 300 gold per battle. Yeah, we'll take that. Purchase. Yes. Uh, items. 
Plus seven energy, paralyze, paralyze. Miraculous healing, that takes five fragments. Energy rush. Uh, I don't think we need these items, but we do want those. And I don't want, I don't want to lose health though. And then talk to the trader or leave. Uh, go ahead and say goodbye. Our sons guards see you off with a distrustful stare, but you soon leave the wagon far behind. Uh, uh, okay. It was an invading Burka. Hordes of the Northerns have already marched across the lands of the Five Kingdoms. Lone horseman comes in the side of the outskirts of Darefor village. This horse barely trucks along. It looks like it had been galloping without rest. The rider, just as exhausted, doesn't notice you until you catch up to him. He raises himself in stirrups and glares at the traveler and shouts, Well, isn't it, Ramel? Wait, you knucklehead, you. Don't you recognize your commander? Taking it back, the lad launches, uh, launches to his shoulder and sighs and really so recognize, recognizes. Gregor. Hello, Captain Gregor. What brings you here? I'm on my way home. Not that far off, in fact. No squints to, uh, to scan the nearby houses. Your village isn't going anywhere. Your horse needs some rest anyhow. Go ride the poor thing to death, you bonehead. Get off before it crushes you. No one gets off the horse and exhausts animal collapses. You give the young lad a scornful glance and dismount the, in order to talk to him. Get your breath, boy. Take it easy. Now, tell me one thing. We passed a dozen hamlets yesterday, but didn't see a single person. Do you know what's going on? <laughs> I don't know. I didn't stop by any hamlets. In fact, I didn't stop at all. Why would you abandon your posts at the tower? We spoke to Stern already. He told us about the great creature, about you breaking the gate, and about the crazy toll collector, too. We wanted to hear your side of the story. So the toll collector went mad, but Stern's all right. Gods be praised. I was so afraid to, to go back because I thought the two of them might kill me. What now? I, uh, do I have to go back to the watchtower? Mm. Go visit your grandma first. It's not far. You'll manage it on foot. Consider a short leave from Stern. Tell me, uh, why did you go to Abbas for help? I was so shaken with fright, I chose a familiar path to my home village without thinking. When I came to my senses, it was easier to keep going. My grandma was a great healer. Maybe she helped me with the mark on my neck. And if she can't, then meth mirrors nearby. So the plague's gotten to you too. I doubt the village healer can cure it. Go straight to Mithra after you visit your grandma. It's safer that way. We don't have to spare horses, so you will have to walk, like Craig has suggested. Did you notice anything strange on your way? Footprints, maybe. Lots of them. Look like a party of on horseback, larger than yours. I didn't see them, even though I rode without rest. But my guess is that they're heading out of Minthir. He knows that too. I can't imagine a company this uh, uh, this could be. It's too big for a Berkman patrol. Could be bandits. I hope they don't mind their way, uh, find their way into your village. Never seen any bandits in this part. We're not rich, and there are several bows and lances in every home. We're lo uh, loose more than we gained. We're also a watch around here. In, or, we're also a watch around myth. They've, and they would come to our aid. Uh, All right, we'll deal with those mysterious horsemen later. As you manage to ride for so long, uh, I know a sort of an incantation. Buck you up a bit. Learned it from my grandma. She's one of the Vandals. You know their stuff. Uh, I know a sort of incantation. Bucks you up a bit. Okay. Can you? Buck us up. 
Not yet. Too tired. Besides, I'm a bit of a weakling compared to my grandma. She's very skilled, and she also has special powers and potions. Potions. We'll definitely see your grandma on the way back. I hope she sells us some potions to keep us healthy. We'll definitely. Yes. yes, of course. I'll stop by my grandma's and head to the Methmere. I suppose I'll return to Stern afterwards. Uh, don't think me a deserter, Captain. Just go ahead. Nobody's accusing you of anything. Visit your grandma or return to the watchtower. We are too preoccupied to care. Mm. I mean, you wouldn't run your horses. You'd kill them. And, yeah. Uh, you pass the village. An empty street strikes you as odd. You're... Getting a foreboding feeling, but you shrug it off. Right now, your only goal is memory. Everything else comes second. Villagers must be gathering near the sacred stone, Phil says. It's a holiday, after all. You're great, you're relieved. Indeed, the village near the Methodist traditionally boasts fe spring festivals. Austin, th you don't immediately hear someone addressing you. Elliot calls you again, pointing to the road. There's something smoking there, a scavenger circle of black flumes. Slow down and take a closer look. A battle. A battle. That's a battle. That's definitely a battle. Heap of corpse arrest in the middle of the road. So many bodies, men, women, old, young, even children. There's a scaffold and some spirits sticking out of the ground. The smell of blood makes your head light head. You trot closer, pulling back on the reins. Scorched and torn asunder, all these people died without making a sound. The mouths choked with dirt. Uh, hacked limbs lie nearby. You turn around slowly. Linda stems close by, clenching the hilt of her sword. The others stand back, frozen in place. Linda sobs. She's petrified, unable to get a word out. She runs off of a limp, a limp limbs, sick to her stomach. You order your men to help Linda and keep their distance. A quiet howl draws your attention. You notice a pregnant woman struggling under a pile of corpses. She's been severely mutilated and won't last long without aid. It seems the woman will deliver her child within a matter of hours. If you leave her here to die, the child dies with her. But if you bring her along, she'll be a great burden. Not to mention the baby, if it survives, that is. Oh. Try to help. Oh. You wade through the corpses and pull the woman out of the under, under the pile. Out from under the pile, and your campaign has come to your aid. You don't have a healer, and it's pointless to return to the village. These corpses are all that is left of it. Seems like you have to bring the woman to Mythmere. Hmm. What is this shit? You stop your company on a bridge. Suspicious figures stand on the other side. A watchman's body hanging nearby, close to the blood-soaked mirror. Oh, grows pale. Aren't these Aesinsries? The old chronicles call them abominations. I've read about them. Wielders of uh, uh, enchanted blades and capable of flight. The time of the Reapers is upon us. You draw your sword. They've noticed us. Beyond your god, there are no fools gathering near the bridge. We have to dismount. All of you, uh, don't, all of you swarm the bridge. Only get in each other's way. Linda, look after the wounded girl. You order some of your companions to get to the bridge and tell the others to guard the rear. It feels like the answer wants you on the bridge so that they can bring it down. It's a trap! 
It's a trap. How do we level? Oh, here we are, level. Let's start with you. This one to attack. Plus seven to damage, 30% of attack. Um, I say just be tanky, or we could go with attack. Plus one to attack. Prize resolve. Anger. Fight back. Parry. Knock back. For the commander. Increase plus. Shelter. Let's go ahead and take What's this one. Plus seven to defense. Destructive Avenger plus one to attack. Minus three to cool down and plus one aggression. Let's go ahead and take that one. Yeah. And then she can upgrade too. Resilient. To cool down. Nimble blade, minus 25 to health to the cost. Plus 8 energy. Swiftness. Heavy strike. Solid cover, plus 20. Plus 8 energy, 30% of attack. That's double attack. We're going to take HP. HP is always good to have. And then go back. And then we've got this one. Let's go ahead and stick that on there. And then we've got this plus 4. We're going to take Archer. Definitely take the Archer. And let's fight to the bridge. Let's do this. With our combined mites, we should be able to just force our way. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, positioning. Fighters in the front. Spearmen. Dual archers. And then let's begin. There's a wizard. Okay. I'm curious on what their abilities are. Oh, beautiful. up and yeah. <laughs> it's fine because he whacks back right there. Okay, interesting. Let's go 
finish him off. Spearman, man. Ha! Get wrecked, son. Nice. And we got levels. Okay, go ahead and close out. He knows that Rommel on the bridge, he trots along with a lifeless eyes. You know the horrors he has seen and wants to approach him. And you want to approach him. Miguel beats you to it, uh, hugs her, and, and starts crying, nearly choking his eyes. You can't bring yourself to interrupt them. Gilda tries to calm him down, and you listen to his jumbled account of what happened at the empty village. Judging by the blood stains, some of the bodies were thrown into the river, and some... You go silence. You turn your attentions to the men there. Alright. Well... Shit. <laughs> So is he coming with us? Is he going back? What's he going to do? Each man must make his own decision. Oh, we didn't travel very far. A uh, survivor. Let's talk to the survivor. Wait, you mustn't. Abominations corrupt the sacred stone, and now it is the only brings death. I saw people dying after touching the Minma. The last captives uh, were forced into the stone by the uh, incities. Huh? Curses. So that's why they soaked it in blood and witchery. Pieces of shit. Thanks for the warning. And I was wondering why the Temer, uh, we were just sitting there, giving no thanks or anything for being saved. <laughs> Honestly, I can't even stand right now. I've already given hope. But I'm already grateful. The name's Via. I'm a wandering monk. How will I, uh, now I will be praying to the gods on your behalf for uh, every temple in Berkerham. <clears throat> My name is Thorn uh, Benrin. I'm a retired captain of the guard. You'll meet the others later. Tell me what happened here before you get back to praying. Why did they leave you alive? Ah. Abominations didn't kill all the villagers at once. Some were kidnapped and forced to dig mass graves until it was their turn. Mithir was showering it with in their blood. I'm the only one left. Why did they need a grave? They never buried people they had killed behind the bridge. Don't know. I think they just wanted to torture us as long as they could. They made it as painful and scary as possible. Those fiends, slaughterers, and torturing so many people in a single day in the grave. You have to uh, use it, I'm afraid. How did the watch manage to miss this whole mob of enemies and captives? Mm -hmm. There were too many of them. First it was the cavalry, and we didn't even know what hit us. Then we heard the cries from the other side of the bridge. Even more abominations. Some of them didn't get a, uh, get a horse and stayed behind. The others left. Hey. So that's... Those prints were... God's truly saved our necks. We could have easily stumbled upon them on our way here. Huh. Mentioned the captives what happened. I heard screams and saw smoke, smoke rising. All dead. None were spared. Not even children or the elderly. That isn't true. There was a... A pregnant lady. Show me your neck. And where are, uh, are there any marks? <sighs> so this plague has gotten to you too. Tell me, uh, let, uh, let me tell you something. You know those rare gems called Strixies? They fight off the corruption. They eventually burn out though. You've heard uh, about it already, but thanks. So how did you come across the Strix and learn of their properties? <laughs> I mean, I meant to mean that Abbot was one of the temple li librarians. And the scroll of the reaping caught my eye. No one reads this stuff, I mean. It's just a legend, and I got my sticks from my, my beads. The old tradition it is. All of us wandering monks need to wear them. <sighs> well, you're the luckiest person I've ever met. The gods must have been keeping you alive for some higher purpose. You've already told me what I need to know. 
Ah. So, what are you going up to now? Hmm. We're just trying another Mithra. The essence couldn't have smeared all of them with blood, could they? And Mithra on the way to Ursa with a little uh, stockade around them. Perhaps the watchman there will be able to beat back the air seas. Eh. Let me come with you. I got to go to the temple in Ursa to tell the Abrat about what I've seen. At least I won't be lonely for half of the way. If, our, if I join your company. <sighs> well, I can't just leave you alone now, can I? Just know that you must obey my every order without question, if you wish to stay with us. By the way, they've left, uh, left us a couple of horses. That's nice. Strix has received five. Let's talk to him. Mm -hmm. In spite of everything he just went through, the lad seems to have regained his senses. <laughs> I killed everyone in my village. Some were thrown into the river and others you saw. But, uh, or even people of the neighboring hamlets. Why do these bastards do this? <laughs> I don't know. Seems like they are a a savior suffering and death. They've plunged this place into abominations and will kill any more that we find. My grandma thought it was a wizard's material. She even gave me her amulet. Let me come with you, Thorn. I don't want to be a wizard. I want to be a warrior. That's why I joined the guards. Take this amulet, please. <sighs> Touching the amulet. Touching the locket on his neck. Wait a second, isn't that... Oh, well, I guess I'll take it. Take the locket. That's yeah, well. You know, th these are sticks that your grandma has done, and it explains a lot. Sticks provide the same protection from the Reaper's curse. So I manage them while we travel together. If you're ready, uh, if you're ready to fight and follow orders, you can come with us. Is there anything else you'd like to say? Uh, this nervous realm opens his purse and shakes, uh, shaking hands and gives you several magical cards. <sighs> As you come by magical cards, they're heavy like lead and hot to the touch. You say that you don't want to become a wizard. <sighs> These cards could be, uh, could be my grandmother's. I played with them when I was little and she said that they became heavier. It meant that the playtime was over and something bad was brewing. I want to give them to you. You're my se uh, senior. You should use them. Do you realize what this is? Uh, what's there to realize? My grandma said that these cards aided those who wanted to use magic or shield themselves from it. They have no shamanistic power of their own. These cards are uh, Quimran, and the Quimar himself said to be on the descendants of the abominations. Huh? Examine your cards, you've heard of them, and but didn't expect them to reclaim power. I won a couple myself who could have guessed that these ancient trinkets could come in handy. Yeah. The reaping has begun, Thorn, and that used to be a superstition, a legend is manifested with magic. You must have noticed that some items have displayed special properties. The cards are no exception. What use are your cards? Uh, you can normally deduce th that the cards does based on a picture, but they're not for wizards, remember. They're for people without special powers, so each card has a hint. Using them is easy as pie. Close your fingers around the card and use them well to direct the power. They're useful. No argument to that. I'm going to be easy, uh, but uh, more at ease with my trusty sword. You can't shatter an enemy detachment with a bunch of cards. <laughs> Who knows? I've never used them myself. But it's possible that the cards might trump a weapon. But remember, if you give the cards to another person, we can use them too. Why are some of the items... Why are the, some of them broken? <laughs> Not broken, just incomplete. I remember the time my grandmother procured a handful of car shards. She assembled the pitcher and the shards uh, sort of glued themselves together. <sighs> Do you suggest I go everywhere looking for the shards? Yeah. It's up to you. People have always collected fragments of these cards. 
Even though that they don't know their true value, they use them to, for as amulets and souvenirs. That's why many merchants sell them. Same goes for items containing Strix. Hey. Okay, thank you. We really need to go now. Uh. Be careful with these cards. Someone uh, can use them. Sometimes it's better to use a weapon instead of standing around waiting for something magical to happen. I suspect you do know more than Gap. If you can cast the proper spells, do it, and thank you for the plaques. I have a feeling we'll need them. Well, you can count on me. I make haste. There's something odd and evil emulating from the menu. One Terry here. Nice. Watch Rowan go and notice the com uh, commotion near the wounded woman. It stops to run. She's giving birth, Dad. Chase them all off and let Roman do his thing. He's the only one who knows what to do. Everyone r runs around looking for clean water and rags. You don't need f even feel much pressure from commanding an entire squadron. But all the plans you finally reward with a baby's cry. Glinda frowns deeply at you. The baby is safe, but we couldn't save the mother. She's been through a lot. I'm g I'll go search the watch's supply for milk. But we need to find a place for a baby to settle in. We should do it now. Hmm. Now's a good time to tidy up and give orders. Yeah, the watchtower. Definitely the watchtower. And just go ahead and level up some people. All right, let's see what he's got here. Rank and health, attack. Plus one to attack distance, yes. Beautiful. Okay. There we are. Plus one to attack, plus eight to damage. Deals damage to everyone in a line. Deals damage to everyone in a line. And we got a monk. Endurance. It's two to health to turns. Spirit strike. Interesting. Spirit armor. Power absorption. Loan. Health. Generosity. That's pretty good. We even have a magic user. Awesome. <laughs> So he is a warrior type. Meditation, healing. Oh wow, he's pretty baller. He's an archer. I definitely like archers. Archers are pretty cool. I mean, they're all great so far. Everybody's been pretty cool. Uh, sounds good to me. Uh, let's check out the grave. You decide against burying the bodies that lie on the floor, uh, lie on, lie by the road. At least all of the fallen besides the memory have found a common grave. You have no further business here, so you prepare to head out. You know Glinda deep in thought. Before you can speak, Glinda beat, uh, beats you, uh, you to it. Why haven't you let me onto the bridge, Dad? Am, uh, am I a bad fencer? Or were you going to ease me on during training? You for for you you fake <laughs> you fake surprise. Uh, you f uh, what's it that? F uh, forge, not forge, forge. Uh, it's faking it. Uh, you fake surprise. And uh, who else could care for the wounded? Our men aren't exactly a nurturing bunch. So I put you in trust, uh, uh, trust in you, and judging by how you handled childbirth, I wasn't wrong to do so. As for going easy on you during training, that's completely utter nonsense. Call for... Return to the lad. He nods in agreement. The captain never cut us any slack during training. 
He's already taught you well, Glenn. Your fencing is pretty good compared to many of us. You can tell that Glenda's shocked by all this praise and decide to seize the moment. Grab yourself, everyone. The child's going with you, Glenda. There's a squad and Elsa prowling around, so let's get back on horses quickly. Okay. Leave the Mithnir Valley. In enemy territory, a campfire gives warmth, but the cold gives protection. Shadow Clan's code for warriors of peace. All right, this is a good place to stop as any. This is come this is finishing chapter 1. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video, all right? Bye.